All right, howdy everyone. Uh, welcome back to Mordheim City of the Damned. So we've had a bit of an incident. Um, basically, Camtasia was the software I was using in the past to record everything. Um, and it worked okay for my past videos, but I always did have a few issues. But as you know, in the first episode, there were some huge audio desync issues. And I really just couldn't figure out how to fix them. So, um... That was a huge re issue, obviously, uh, and I then went ahead, he's still using Camtasia, and actually did all of the tutorials. They went by pretty quickly, but Camtasia desynced everything. I was amazed how badly everything was de desynced. I tried to salvage it, and it was okay, but then Camtasia crashed, and the file got corrupted. So, <laughs> needless to say, I'm done using Camtasia. I have now switched to XSplit, actually. It seems to be working seamlessly better. Uh, for now, anyway, I guess I'll finally, hopefully know when this is done that something worked. But, yeah, so in the last video, I did just go through and do the rest of the tutorials. Um, these two were kind of lengthy, but these blew by, and it's, it was a lot of information. So, sorry that I didn't get a chance to record that, but um, it wasn't at least that I started the game yet, so I don't actually... So it is still a blind let's play, because really all I've done is the tutorials, so fair warning on that, but... Alright, let's get into this and enough jabbering about how bad Camtasia is. Um, so we can uh, we can go ahead and start a new warband now. Let me just make sure my options are all good. I don't want anything to mess up. Let me change this actually if I can. Mm, this might break. Nah, well, what's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah. There we go. That should work better. Oh, okay. Oh, God, everyone's shouting. Ooh. Please, damn dead. Okay, all right. So, whew, didn't know we'd be jumping right into this like this, but, um... <clears throat> so, I can pick a warband. My choices are going to be the Order of the Witch Hunters. Let me just go through the names real quick. So, we have the Witch Hunters, yeah! Human Mercenaries, Whoa! the Sisters of Sigmar, <laughs> the Cult of the Possessed, <laughs> Skaven, and the Undead. Mm. Oh god, it's they're so loud. God, they're so loud. Okay, so the Order of the Templars of Sigmar was founded in the early days of the Empire, formerly known as the Witch Hunters. These warriors root out evil where it hides among men, depraved chaos cults, hideous mutants, the abominable, abominable undead, witches, and sorcerers practicing their black arts. Even the insidious Skaven have been unmasked and destroyed by the zealous witch efforts of witch hunters. To join the Order is to accept a violent and dangerous life. Fear and mercy alike are qualities no witch hunter can allow within himself. Only unwavering faith in Sigmar. These warriors have come to Mordheim to redeem it from its corruption or see it purged by fire. Interesting. Yeah! <clears throat> uh, the province of Rakeland lies at the heart of the Empire and is a land long renowned for the discipline and loyalty of its people. Warriors drawn into the surface of Rakeland are held to a standard of professionalism eschewing the flamboyance of other provinces is, geez, for a Reeklander, sturdy armor and a reliable sword are more precious than skills and jeweled vestments. Grand Prince Siegfried of Reekland claims the vacant imperial throne for himself, and the warriors of his land will do their utmost to see him crowned emperor, even if they are, aren't above making some coin for themselves in the process. A Reeklander is always pragmatic. Oh! Uh, Sisters of Sigmar... I'm just going to skim through these ones because I don't have too much interest in playing as them. So if you want to learn more about their lore, you can go ahead and pause. Um, and then we have the Cult of the Possessed. Again, not too interested in playing as them, so I probably won't read too much about them. Oh, uh, yeah, so they're kind of like Satan worshippers. Uh, Skaven. Skaven are definitely a big possibility for me. So are the Undead, but the Witch Hunters also look pretty cool. So it'll, it'll be a toss-up between those three, but... <clears throat> So the Skaven of Clan Ishin are accomplished masters of stealth and murder. Long ago, they learned the art of assassination in distant lands. Now they are among the most feared of the great clans under the uh, in of the Under Empire. These silent killers serve as the eyes and ears of Skavendom, infiltrating the realms of other races and spying upon them from the shadows. Striking from ambush, utterly without mercy and honor, endowed with a ferocious speed and viciousness for in far in excess of any human, the Skaven are hideous foes. The chance to increase their own prestige inside the clan makes the warbands infesting Mordheim even more ruthless and dangerous. 
And then the vassals of Count Vlad von Karstein include both the living and the undead. For the vampire lord knows the utility of mortals and the weaknesses of his own kind. Whether living or dead, all are his servants sworn to his master's will. While the courts of Altdorf, Middenheim, and Marenburg all squabble over the emperor's crown, few suspect that the tyrant of Sylvania has his own designs. The warbands who have journeyed to Mordheim are sent to gather wordstones that the dark magic bound into the shards can be harnessed and used to create more undead. They are both cunning and ruthless, for any foe that falls to their blade may arise again to serve Sylvania. Okay. <laughs> the undead looks cool, but I think it's only because this guy looks like a freaking vampire. He has a, he has a shield that is a wing, okay? That is cool as shit. He looks like a vampire, dude. I want to. Almost want to play him. The Skaven are also pretty cool, I think. I might go with the Witch Hunters. But they seem... I think I'll go with the Skaven, to be honest. It is a tough call. Because they all they all have their perks to me. And I... Mm, the, only, the only two that I you know, really wouldn't want to play are these two. I'm going to move my cursor up here so I don't have them roaring at me. Mm, tough choice, tough choice. Alright, I think my final decision will be to go with the Skaven. Mordheim Nest have much, much warpstone. Clannison made trouble pain to keep other clans away. Must be swift silent, not let other clans learn, no. We take fetch all warpstone. Smart wise Skaven may take much power rank with warpstone. Keep steel from stupid man things and take bring to under empire. Many man things in Mordheim Nest. Many other things too. All one take Warpstone. Make them die. Die! Sister things from Riverhide Warpstone under Fort Nest. Cult things take Warpstone to Demon Hole. Soldier things take Warpstone away to Baron things. All must die. Die! Skaven, with much warpstone, rise fast, quick in clan. Become big, great chief. Much slaves, much breeders, much power. Become warlord of whole borough, maybe. Best quick trail to rank power is swear, sir. Great murder lord, Snicket. Much wise, much strong. The most high underling of clan ashes, revered, feared night lord. Skaven Blight, they know of Murder Lord Snicket, Great Mighty Snicket, best of all assassin lords. Maybe becomes Deathmaster someday. And share his glory. Make much, much healthy Snicket, nor crush all rivals. Why smart Skaven work with Filch, yes? Not never hear learn about Filch Sharp Tail? <laughs> Filch Sharp Tail, greatest killer in all clanation. Filch strangled Wilhelm the Baron thing and make it look like hungry troll ate him. Filch drowned Warlord Kripnik after his ship sink fighting dragon thing. <laughs> Pops keep her vile breath choke on old plague when Filch drops big rock on his tail. Not never he'll learn about Filch. <laughs> Best assassin is one nobody knows. Be proud on her to work for Filch. Filch will let you find much, much wordstone for him. Great, great honor. Okay, this is fucking Golems United. What the? All right, Smeagles. Jeez, come on. These are like the army of the Smeagles coming back. The rise of the Smeagles. You thought there was just one. Anyway, all right, let's continue. That was pretty cool, though. I did, I'd like the look of it. Oh, okay. Mordheim City of the Damned is a game about making the most of a dire situation, and it is designed as, designed as a hardcore experience. The decisions you take while leading your warband are permanent and your actions in combat may lead to irreversible injuries for your warriors. The campaign will end after the fourth time that you fail to- yep, okay, we know that. Plan carefully and grade yourself against the hero horrors of more time. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, okay, so these are all the different stuff that was talked about in the tutorials, actually. Uh, all of these were mentioned in the tutorials, so let's go ahead and look at warband management. 
provides you a quick summary of each warrior, lets you edit the composition of your warband, and hire new warriors. From here, you can click on any warrior. All right. This should be stuff I think we already learned in the tutorial. Uh, henchman type warriors can occupy any slot, but leaders and heroes may occupy only their respective slots. Alright, so... They didn't really... It was really brief in the tutorial, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, Alright, so these are the warriors available to hire. I have 500 money. I'm going to call it gold. I don't know if that's technically the currency name, but I'm going to call it gold. Um, so these are the reserves. So we need three henchmen and we need a hero. Okay. Alright, so let's get the hero first. Can I just click on them to look at them? No. Oop, no, come on. Get off it. I know there's no hired swords. There we go. Uh, I don't know how to look at them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I clicked something. I think I clicked right click. The hire screen allows you to browse warriors available for hire. You can review each warrior's description. Okay, again, stuff we already learned. Okay, alright, so now I, I'm on them, I think. So this was the one that. Wait, what? It's a human. I can have humans with me? Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> There's two warriors that are buyers. Oh, that's interesting. So it's weird that I can have humans in my party. I wasn't expecting of that, but cool. Okay. All right. So we need a hero. So let's look at the heroes. This was one that looked cool to me. The Night Runner, or the Poison Wind Globadier. Globadier. Oh, this might take a little bit. <laughs> There's so many options here. All right. <clears throat> let's start off by getting a hero. So th these. Oh God, this is sensitive. I think it loops. These are the three heroes, right? Yep, so these are the three heroes. So this will be easy to pick. So let's start off by looking at the perks. So we have the Night Runner. He is fairly very, very, fairly agile. He's not that strong and he's not that tough. He's got okay leadership, I guess. Uh, not that great int, I guess, either. Uh, his alertness is about half. His weapon skill is okay. So we've got a lot of okay attributes, but they're not great. They're around like 30% of max mark. Um... I don't know exactly how well how much 69 is in reference to other things. Uh, 8 movement sounds pretty bad, but I could also be wrong. 55% dodge does sound very good. Hmm. So, all right, so he's he uses fighting claws, daggers, maces, spears, and swords. He can use pistols and shuriken, and then he wears cloth, light shield, pendant, amulet, and helmet as far as armor goes. What does this do? This okay. So, <clears throat> so his stats are okay, but he has very good dodge chance. So I guess this is kind of a tankier kind of guy in the sense that he can dodge a lot. His resistances look pretty good sometimes too. Like uh, for being all alone, he's pretty tough. Uh, all right, that's good. Let's look at the next one. <clears throat> so this guy has uh, much worse stats up here. Uh, I think. A little bit, uh, you might just see a cut in the video because my computer kind of just freaked out for no reason and alt tabbed, and I don't know why. So, yeah, so we're just gonna ignore that that happened to move on with what we were doing. Anywho, there's this guy now. Um, there's another hero potential choice. <clears throat> Sorry, let me actually just try to fix something real quick because my computer is freaking out on me. One more jump cut. That should be it now. Okay, anyway, um, all right, so this is the other hero we have available. He uses, looks like, about the same weapons and armor, um, but he's immune to breathable poison effects, so most traps as well, and some spells. But he has one less movement. Okay, so he only has six movement, that would mean. And his initiative is better than the other ones, so that's good. Um, I believe this stuff's about the same. He's not as good at dodging. His resistances are about the same, but they look a little lower. So this guy, I think his main purpose is being able to kind of move into poison and tank it. Oh, I didn't look at health. and Oh, I should look at that, actually. Sorry, one sec. Oh, it's about the same, actually. The health and damage. Um, 
Oh no, this guy does significantly less damage. This guy has far more damage. This guy is a little bit more critical, but that might not even be... That might just be negligible. So this guy's the contender right now, and then there's this guy. Um, about the same damage as the Night Runner. Less crit. Uh, same of those. Some health. He can cast arcane spells, though, which could be nice. Um, and his stats are um, pretty much about the same, except he has much better int. Um, his resistances look lower to me, and then there's also slightly lower dodge chance. He's also the slowest of them all. Um, and then there's some better melee stuff up there. I think I'll take the Night Runner, honestly. He's a little bit cheaper, too, which is interesting, because I think he's the best one. Yeah, I'm going to take the Night Runner. Yeah. Task completed. Cool. All right, so now we just need to get three henchmen. Um, so we can get one of these two for henchmen. We can get a Skeet Squealer or a Trice Fetch. Um, neither of them have any special perks, and they can carry about the same amount of weapons. The same type of weapons, I should say. Um, this one seems like it has good... Yeah, okay, so this one has good strength and good toughness, but its agility isn't quite as high. This one would, of course, have higher agility with less of those. Um, in terms of the other stats, they're about the same. This one is a little bit better with uh, melee. Um, and then this one is a little bit better with ranged and better accuracy overall. So that might be something to keep in mind. Um, this one can also dodge better. And, hmm. Oh my, 691% wordstone resistance. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but that seems very high. Ah, okay, magical rituals enhance their resistance to the corrupting effects of wordstone. So they wouldn't get a disease or kind of like a, a mutation, I guess, that um, others might get. So that's interesting. So they are able to grab all the word stones. <clears throat> I think I'll take one of these. Task completed. And then, oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, and then I'll take two of these ones. There we go. All right, now we've got our warband. I don't think I can put anyone else in there. Cool. Oh, didn't, don't want to disband the warband. Hold on. Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> that was a little scary. Um, <clears throat> Alright, where do we go from here? Do we put people in the reserve? Maybe we have to put some people in the reserve. So let's do that. We've got three reserve slots to fill. <clears throat> oh, an adept. Uh, a leader, huh? Okay. The Doom Weaver, we learned about him. There's the Poison Guy. There's another Night Runner. And then there's the two normal ones. Okay. Um, why are these ones free? Oh, this guy looks cool. Why are they free, though? I don't know. Anyway, let's, um, <clears throat> let's buy one of these guys. I might want to swap them in at some point. Um... <clears throat> I guess one of the gas guys might be a good idea to have, because, you know, if we're going into an uh, area that has poison, could it be a good idea to swap him in? Task completed. Um, and then I guess we don't need a third one, so I, I'll save my money, because I did spend a lot there. Um, so now where do I go? Um, skirmish, this is multiplayer, so I don't need to worry about that. Veteran system, ah, right, this I read about, so basically, as you do stuff, they get veteran skills, and you can carry those over through levels, I believe. Uh, this is the shop to purchase new equipment, to sell any excess, okay. <clears throat> do they have weapons? I imagine they have some weapons on them already. Like if I try to sell, well, maybe I... Hmm, let me go back to this real quick. And just, um, can I click on them? What if I do this? Okay, here we go. So now I can look at everything they have. So inventory. So he has um He has no weapons? No, he has weeping blades, okay. And then he has shuriken as well. Okay. And he has just basic clothes on, I think, for armor. Um he doesn't know any actives, but he has a defensive I've had passive, which is um that an attack bypass is ten percent of targets dodge and parry chance. Interesting. 
All right, let's customize him a little bit. Sure, he's our leader after all. No, 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 not not that name for our leader. Our leader is going to be called uh, Rat Two. <laughs> no, okay. Um, what should we our leader be called? Ragnar Ej All right. Um, I can get really in depth with this. Um, I like that. Ooh. And then for his other arm, something asymmetrical, I think. Like that, maybe? Um, for his pants, no, maybe. No, 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 not green. Ooh, not this one, maybe. No, I, I like this one. Uh, this doesn't seem to change anything that I can tell. Um, okay. What is this? Is hair? Uh, I didn't think that would change anything. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's changing the color of a shroud. Ooh, cool. Alright, so there's that guy. So we have Regnor Ejkra. Right here. Alright. A model, huh? Well, I like that one more. I didn't know there was models. Now I gotta change some more stuff. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's nice. <clears throat> Can I change the color a bit though? It's a bit too bland. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I think that's what it was before actually, but that's fine. Bio. Mm, I could do a bio. The thing is, I don't really know much about the lore, um, which makes me not as much interested in doing a bio on them. I'll do a bio. Something short, so we make a sentence. You are as known as regular. The silent assassin. I think I just spelled assassin wrong. Two S. Acting as a shadow in the night. Why not? Right, so there's that guy, there's Regnor. Um, let's go back here. Um, I don't know if I'll do, I don't think I'll do names for the henchmen, but for the heroes and leaders, I think I will, and bios. Just to make it a bit more personalized. Um, all right, so this guy, he's our night runner. He has, ooh, interesting. So after he jumps, after he leaps or jumps down, he gets plus three meters that he can move for every strategic point for the rest of the turn. Interesting how that works. Okay, he doesn't have any items, so we won't do that. Customization. I don't know how much we have available to us. I don't know if I like that bear kind of look. I think he should have at least a shroud on. Yeah, that, that, that's nice. I like that. We'll go for pants. Models. Brown style too. There we go. Okay, no models for this, but change the color. That's good. Let's go ahead and give him a name. <clears throat> I do like that Dire Claw last name. Let's keep that. But for the first name, his name is. Uh. Avalo. And then just a short bio. Um. <clears throat>
<clears throat> using his uh, aptitude toward running, free running. <clears throat> All right, there we go. All right, so we've got our hero and our leader uh, mentioned. <clears throat> Go to the shop. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do I want to buy? I don't want to give heavy armor to them, I don't think, because that'll make them a lot less um, maneuverable. They, they're supposed to be very maneuverable, I believe. Let's definitely give pistols to someone. Um, yeah, we'll have one person have pistols. Uh, target self or single ally. Increases perception. And resistance produces. Uh, I don't think I need that. <clears throat> that could be useful. Let's get one of those. Oh, we'll get a couple. They're pretty cheap. Oh, I have the money. I, oh, there's only one in stock. I see. Okay. Pendant? Let's get a couple pendants. We can give those to some people. Um, we'll, give a, we'll give an amulet to someone. And then I think that's all we really need to give. Maybe we'll give a fighting claw to someone, too. <clears throat> so let's give these out to our people. Definitely, it's going to go to heroes and leaders first. So, let's see, we can give Task you... We'll completed. Give, we'll give you the pendant, because you're the leader, and you need to pass the all alone test a lot more, probably. No, actually, we should give the... the amulet to him, right? We'll give the amulet to you. Well, I have two pendants. I'll give, I'll give one to you. I'll give one to you and one to the other guy. <clears throat> and then, um... I don't think I need to give you the pistols. I think you're good with what you've got. Um, what do I have even, anyway? Ah, all right, you're definitely gonna hold on to those because you're gonna be in the front. So you'll get a good use out of that. And then you, uh, hero, <clears throat> you, Mr. Avalon, are gonna have um, one of the pendants as well because you're gonna definitely be on your own a lot. And then I'll, um, I feel like maybe I should give him the guns. I'll save him for someone else, I think. You have fighting claws right now, don't you? Yeah, and yours are actually better than the one I bought in the store. Because they even get tiring, which is interesting. Okay. Okay, we'll equip that. <clears throat> but, oh, there we go. Um, and then we'll make one of you guys kind of tougher, I guess. We'll make one of you with like an archer or a gunsman, I guess. Oh, I can't give them guns. Can I give the other one a gun? You, right here. Can I give you a gun? Oops, inventory. Uh, no, I cannot give them guns. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so, no. Uh, you may visit the campaign section to choose the first mission. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, I was not quite done yet. I need to give someone this gun. I guess you can have the gun then? Um, that's fine. So we'll give you the gun. I kind of wanted you to be more in their face, but that's fine. Now we've got a shuriken if we want to give that to someone, maybe. If we can. I don't know if we can give that to you, can we? We can. So now you'll have a ranged weapon, I guess. And then, um... So you've got a spear. Let's see if we can't differentiate you guys a bit by giving one of you... A claw instead of your mace. Uh, never mind, I don't think I can give them the claws. Okay, alright, that's fine. <clears throat> so we have Regnor, Avalo, and then three Rabble over here. They're going to help in our mission. And we have some reserves over here. I think that means we're ready to take on the campaign. Alright, visit the campaign screen to select a mission for your warband to undertake. Missions are randomly generated and contain varying levels of wordstones and treasure. You may send the scouts to reveal more potential missions. Alright, this is all stuff that we learned in the tutorial. It's just kind of revising it for us. And here we go. Alright, so. <clears throat> we've got two options here. we got pillagers, which is of normal difficulty, I believe that means. Uh, poor something, and then very poor something else. 
One warband is caught exploring buildings while the other divides into three strike teams surrounding the buildings. And then normal difficulty again, which is average of something and very poor of that other thing. Each warband deploys in a wide arc from their wagon, far from each other. Let's try a walk in the fog. Alright, we've got our warband picked. This throat slitter is the name of our warband. Alright, alright. All valuable warriors not placed in this not placed in the reserve will be deployed. Okay. Launch and deploy. I don't know what the difference is between these two. Uh, launch and deploy. I don't know what the Scouts difference is. Have reported a rival warband in the vicinity. Before you can find them, a heavy fog settles over the ruins. Unable to pick up the enemy's trail, your warriors deploy from their wagon and spread out to sweep the area in search of your foe. Interesting. Alright, so basically the main objective here is going to be to um, kill all the enemies or make them make their morale so low that they run away. Or, well, no, that's the main objective, but then we have a secondary objective, ex excuse me, objective to gather. So we'll be sure to work on that. Alright, here we go. Okay, well, right into it. Alright, this is for real now, so I do want to keep my guys alive as best as I can and um, try to win this. So let me look in the strategic view. So everyone fanned out a bit. I don't know what those pluses mean. Where's the rest of my guys? Okay, so their enemy locations are unknown. There's my wagon. I don't know where the rest of my guys are. Are these them? No. Maybe it doesn't show them until they spawn in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I deploy them. Oh, I can pick locations for them to deploy. Okay, okay. That, I see. Alright, so... I want a guy there. Um, that guy can definitely go there. So deploy. So Regnar got deployed there. Um, we can, can we just click on them? No, that sets a thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, I like this location up here. So I'm going to try to place them near these scavenges so they can kind of look around a bit. But I don't want them to be too far away from each other. So we've got our hero and our leader at good locations. We've got Regnar up here, and I believe this should be... No, Regnar is down there, and then uh, Avalo is up there. <clears throat> I think we can just put you right there. That's fine. Not there for you, though. Maybe have you be a bit ballsy and going up the side. Um, and then our other one... Um, there's not too many other locations, so I think we'll just put you in the back. Oh, this is much better than what I was trying to do before. Uh, I'll put you right there. And then opponents are deploying and we're ready to move on. So Avalo is going to start us off here. Alright, before we move, I saw this right here, so I want to get to that for sure. Oops. So how am I going to get up to there? I don't think I can jump into that window, can I? No. But I can jump up there. So... See if we can't climb this. No, I don't think we can climb it. We can only jump down it. That's a shame. Okay. Um, we can go inside though. That's for sure. So we'll do that. Uh, we've got four moves left. Three left now. Okay. On the map, it should be. It might be on the roof. Let's see what do we have in here? Nothing too much. Ah, here's somewhere we can jump up. So we'll climb. <clears throat> Alright, and when you... No, it's not when you climb, it's only when you jump down. That's right. Okay, there's nothing up here, unfortunately. It looks like whatever that is was actually down there. Oops. Oopsie. Okay. Alright, so this item is uh, back a bit, so we'll jump back down. Success. Uh, I guess that means we have to go around this way. Maybe this could be wrong. Ooh, getting, getting stuck. Nope, that was definitely wrong. Alright, we kind of wasted your turn, buddy. Um, that's fine. So we'll throw you downstairs. So, are you, is it in here? It's 
great. It's in here, that's for sure. We can't move any more past this, but ah, here we go. Found it. Good. So we'll scavenge. And we get a worm stone. Word stone. I'm gonna call those worm stones so often. Oh, he can only carry three items. Alright. Objectives okay. updated. Cool. So we got some. Uh, it did something bad to him. What did that do? Oh, I don't know what that did to him. That did something bad. You're my hero, don't die. Alright, we'll just ambush in case anyone comes up here. <clears throat> now the enemy's gonna move, and then all of the rest of my guys move, according to our initiative at the top there. And then the rest of their guys will move thereafter. Okay. Alright, so here's our here uh, here's our leader's turn actually, our champion. We've got somewhere in this building here to scavenge, so I think we should move on to that. Let's get you inside. Um, keep making that mistake of um, not knowing where which part of the building it's actually in. I think I need to get up here. So we'll go up this way, up the. Oops. And we went up the. Um, up the stairs there. Let's see, it should be dead ahead. Yeah, it's in this building for sure. It probably is on the second. That would be wrong of me to guess. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. You're almost out of strategic points, bud, so... Um, I think that's about as far as you can go. Let's just check inside to make sure it's not on... Eh, it's not in this first floor. Um, it doesn't look like it is. Where was it? No, it's back more this way. <clears throat> definitely up here somewhere. That's fine. We'll keep you right here for now. We'll put you on ambush in case anyone comes up here for some reason. <clears throat> Alright, and who's up next here? Okay, this is my tankier guy, if I recall correctly. There's a scavenge in here, so I definitely want to get in this building now. So let's just go ahead and go in here. Let's get up on the second floor is where I imagine it will be. Um, looks like I was wrong in that assumption though. Third floor? Yes, here we go. We'll scavenge. Ooh, we got a pistol. Heck yeah. That looks really powerful too, actually. Alright, we'll take that. Fantastic. Alright. You got a little bit of move left in you. Um, not too much though, so you can stand up here in ambush. Um, Alright, so you're, you're the one that's over here. You're the tougher guy, I think. I don't want to move too far out because I imagine, well, the map is pretty big, but the enemies could be anywhere at all. So I don't want to move too far out on the map. Let's just uh, move up and grab this one stone here if we can. So we put a marker down, so we'll head to that. Um, it's inside the building. Oh, oh no, it's so close. Oh no, it's, it's so close. Get around it. Oh wait, it's on the second floor. Well, screw me. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll just have to stay here and ambush, hopefully. This guy's kind of out in the open, which scares me. But I think we'll be okay. And then we have him. Um, he was kind of in the back a bit, so let's just... Yeah, we'll move him up to take this, actually. Because as this guy, he could take it, but he's not, um... He's not very... Wait, does this... Is this it right here? No, this is just my list down here. This thing could be on any level of the floor, which is the part that's kind of difficult to work with. Start to start from the top, I think. It wouldn't be down there, I would have saw it before. Let's move up here. Um, not on this floor. Okay, we'll try climbing. Oh, I'm on the street points. Wow, you are slow. What, ew, ugh, ugh, what is that? Is that a giant slug? Ugh. Right, we'll have you on ambush. This way one of my henchmen are looking for this stuff and not my tough fighter uh, leader guy because I want him to be out in the fight, I think, because he's got a lot of cool stuff. So the enemy turn's going to start. They're going to move around all their guys. This might take a little bit. It doesn't have fast forward, I don't think, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, excuse me. 
Mm, sleepy. Now they are out of moves, I do believe. They should be out of moves. And I don't know why. A I'm new going. round yeah, has okay. started. Alright, so we're back to Avalo here. Where are we gonna go? We'll go downstairs, I think. I accidentally just used a strategic point, stepping too far. Right, I don't want to offset this guy too much. This is something we looked, we looted. We looted that one. Again, I don't want to offset him too much on his own, but he is the guy that could fight on his own if anyone has to. Yo, let's get up here. Let's get a height advantage for sure. Let's see if this can help us much. We'll run across here real quick. Alright, we are out of moves on that note, so let's actually... I think we'd be okay up here. <clears throat> You are where? Which one? Oh, you're good, Lee. I gotta tell by the green blades. Um, no, I don't. We wouldn't be in this building. So um, let's just get Ragnar out of here. He's gonna move up. Um, let's see. I'd like to move him up to there if possible. So let's go down the bridge. Um, make sure we keep up our height advantage. Definitely want to be on the roof as much as possible. Alright, we'll jump up one. Oh, no, no, no. Jump. You can jump that, right? Yeah, you can def oh, you're out of points. Darn. I gotta get more strategic points somehow. Okay. We'll uh, ambush here, I guess. I mean, there's no point to not, but there's also not really a point in doing it, because I don't think a guy's gonna go up there. Alright. <clears throat> one of their enemies are moving, but I'm not seeing them on the board at all, so... Or on the map, I should say, so that means they're probably off somewhere in the distance. Alright, so who's going now? You're gonna go. Yeah. Oh. So you just looted there. I'm gonna have you jump down, and um, I think I'll have you back up Regnor here. Cover is six, so you can jump down. We're gonna do one more jump down, so don't fail it, please. I have a feeling you're gonna fail. No, you didn't. Okay, I used a lot of your strategic points, so we'll just move you as close as we can. Uh, can you round that corner? No, you cannot. That's an issue. Oh, I'll have you up here. I don't want you on the low ground. You can ambush anyone that comes up here. <clears throat> Alright, you're the one that's looking for what the heck this thing is. We gotta find this stupid thing, so let's have you... Or are we gonna have you? We're gonna have you jump up here. You fail, so okay. Well, someone had to do it. Try it again. There it is. Okay, so we've got the loot fix right here. No. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I use perception? Oh, wait, no, it is right here. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're, we're good. Eh, it's just some money, but you know what? That's fine. That'll pay for the upkeep of some people. Maybe an injury or something. Alright, let's, um. I'm not going anywhere here, so scavenge. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Alright, unless we just keep you up there. That's fine by me. <clears throat> Your other one out in the field there, our field operative, if you will. You've got to get up on the high ground, so you've got to jump this. Thought he's about to fall there. <laughs> Looked like he was a bit wobbly. Alright. We should have ah, here we go. Okay, I have a feeling you're gonna get mutated or something when you take this. Objective update. Take these. And we got it. Fantastic. Okay, where do I wanna move you? Because I don't want you. I certainly don't want you going this way, because there could be anyone out here. I would like you to route back to the main and main, main group. Um, so it's nice that we got the word stone. So we'll have you. Um, there's actually still one right there. Okay, we'll have you go after that one. So we'll jump down. Alright, 
there is a one up here. That one's going to be a bit hard to get to. Uh, I'm just going to find the wall for an ambush right here. <clears throat> The enemy's going again. I have a feeling we're going to encounter someone soon. Kind of worries me, but I think we'll be up to the battle. I hope we're going to be up to the battle. I don't want any of my guys to die here, but you never know. We didn't have any healing potions, because they weren't in the shop. Um, we only have the one that... Uh... I don't remember what it does, actually. Oh, well. Oh, excuse me again. Mm, very yawny today. They're moving. We're not encountering any of them, though, so they could be anywhere. We don't know where, but they definitely could be anywhere. Alright. A new round has started. Okay, so there's a lot I can do with you. Let's, ooh, didn't mean to do that, but there gives me all the stats. That's handy. Uh, I think I want to get you over here and see if we can find that ward stone. It looks like it's inside. Do we have an easy way of getting in there? Um, I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't have an easy way at all. Fortunately. Alright, so we'll, we'll have you leap this chasm. Fantastic work. We'll have you jump down. Fantastic work. And then, is there a way in down there? It doesn't look like it. So I think I do have to go... Ah, this is risky, but we'll just run you inside. Okay. That looked like it was a trap on the ground. I don't know, maybe not. Um, okay, so this is where the pillar goes. But that's not, of course, it. So it's definitely up here. I'm getting stuck on all these walls. I'm so bad. Um, we don't have anywhere else to go here. But it's definitely right here. It might be... Are we able to get up any further? There has to be some way. It's definitely right here. Just not here on this level. Let me make a quick run down. Ah, here we go. Okay, there we go. Nope, nope. One more time. There we go. So we'll take that word stone as well. Objectives updated. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't debuff you. Oh. Alright, I don't want my guy, this Avalo guy picking any more up, because he's getting a little beat up here. We'll just have you ambush now, if anything else happens. Oh, wait, did we discover, we, we discovered one of their enemies. Even if just for a brief moment, if you look at the initiative, one of them's not, um, one of them's not a question mark. We saw them. They must have, like, ran past our site or something. I, I don't know where, but... Do, do we see on the... Oh, right here. Okay. So when you ran inside, he must have saw someone right out here. Alright, interesting. Okay, we'll let them come to us for now. So let's get you on the rooftop here. And then... There's a word stone over there. Can you get over there? That's really weird. It's pretty cool, but pretty weird. Alright. Looks like it's on the ground level. Yeah, we've got a lot of strategic points on you, so we'll have you jump down and go right after that. You fell. You fell. Wow, kid. Alright, let's pick that up. Right there. Now, what does this do again? I just want to look. Ah, it increases initiative by two turns. By ten for two turns. And also increase the chance to roll the permanent injuries, internal wound, or mysterious ailment if the user falls out of action. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, all right. Objectives updated. So another one of these. No debuff. No debuff. That more perfect. I don't know what it does, but it's, it's scaring me. Oh, more of enfeeblement. What's going on? Can I look at this? Can I, can I press some button to know what this does? So, um, I yeah, I don't believe there is any button that would be able to tell me more. That is indeed a shame. Okay, right, let's get you inside if possible. It doesn't look like we can do that. Wait a minute. This is where that other guy saw the guy, right? No, 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 no it's on the other side. We need to get you inside. So let's just get you behind this wall. Even it's it's just something. There we go. 
you can yeah, but I should put weapons in here. <clears throat> Alright, let's move you up. I'm not sure where, but we'll move you up somewhere. Um I can get rid of this one, right? No, that one he's going this one's going after that one. This one I can get rid of. Hey, so this one I can get rid of. Alright, let's get you up here. We can back up um regular. Can you go in here? Yes, you can. Fancy that. I kinda just like this position you're in right here. I think we'll just keep you right here, honestly. Maybe use perception and we'll see if we can see anything. Um ah, there is a trap, I believe, down there, so I'll have to keep that in mind. <clears throat> With you. Yeah, you're going after the orange stone in there. How do we get in there? I guess we just go up the stairs. Okay. Let's head up here. Um, okay, it's up another floor, it looks like. So let's head up to this floor. It should be right around the corner. Oh. No, it's not. There's no way across, is there? Okay, hold on. Hold up. <laughs> okay, um, what? I can't go back this way? Well, shoot. Alright, I guess your turn's kind of wasted. Just go in here so you don't get sniped or anything. Okay, you. Um, you just scavenged this, right? Yeah, you did. So we need to get you downstairs. <clears throat> um, maybe we can get you over on the side of the building, that'd be nice. So, I guess we'll jump down again, this way. Oh man, it takes a lot of energy, but uh, alright, I guess we'll have you jump down again. That's, that would be, actually we don't have the strategic points for even that. Alright, that's fine. We'll get you over here and the ambush. Even if just barely. <clears throat> right, now they're moving. They may make an appearance on us here at any minute, so we gotta be careful. Oh, okay, that guy moved out of the way. A new round has started. Alrighty. So we didn't see any of them, which is interesting. Where, where are we at? Here we got Avalo. He's up here. Okay. Oh, there's our guy right there. Oh. Can we see him from here? Oh, he's right there. What? Oh, he's right there. Hi. Okay. I didn't mean to <laughs> Oh, God. I didn't think about that. I didn't think that through. Shit. What do we have as options for you? Not end turn, that's okay, I'm sure. You can try dodging. Okay, uh, let's attack him back, because we have the offensive points. Yeah. Oh god, the counter attack. Alright, we gotta get Avalo out of there. He's taking too much damage. Uh, disengage, right, because Flea will give a free hit, so we'll disengage. Now we've got enough room to run. Gosh, I want to jump out that window, it doesn't look like we can. Where do I go? No way am I stuck in here, am I? Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Really? You can't jump out this window or anything? Come on, jump. You can believe it. You are a rat. I believe in you. Oh shit. Uh, crap. Um, there's no way out of this building. Huh? Yeah, he's got me cornered at the stairwell because I can't get out of here this way. Alright, well then my only chance is to... I don't want Avalo to die. If I can, um... I guess I'll go into a dodge stance then. And just 
just hope that he doesn't come back in here. I, um, okay, the rest of my guys can move, so at least one more person, I think, can move. Yeah, one more person can move to four. So, Ragnar, you need to get over there before this gets worse. So, what's the best way in there? I think there's an entrance right in this side. Yeah, in there. Okay, we're trying. Ragnar, you're the swiftest of them all, so I need you to work with me here. Oh, crap, you failed me, kid. God damn it. over there in time. Let me... Let me just... see if I can't get in here. In this way, I might be able to make it in up here. Here we go, I got behind him. Alright. This is risky. Do we have any other options, or do we just attack? I think we... I think we just attack. Go for it. He's prison now, so that'll be nice. Let's get another attack on him. I'm glad that that hit. Okay, so Ragnar should be okay here. He can dodge, and then I'll keep him alive, I hope. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, he's charging. Oh, he missed. Oh, thank God, Ragnar. All right, Ragnar dodged it. Wires, cruise, curse. Oh. And he dodges. Alright, this is bad. This is bad. Ragnar has got to get out of there. we got to move up all of our guys to that position immediately. You are the only other one that's close. The two are in the back still. That was a bad idea to have them gathering, I think. Uh, okay, alright, okay, okay. So, if we... I don't think he's going to make it in time, because he's got to go all the way up and around. Oh, we'll try. Jump down. Three, two, no. No, this won't be enough. It's so close, but it's not enough. Oh. Put you on ambush. That's next best thing, I guess. Unless there's no other way, right? Um, jumping up there, yeah, there's no other way. Alright, we'll put you on ambush. Hopefully, Regnar and Avalo are going to survive this, because this is getting really scary. Not ambush. If anyone else jumps out, at least we'll be able to take care of them. You need to immediately begin moving up to the front lines. Alright, so by next turn, you should be able to get into the fight, even though you can't this turn. You can ambush there, that's fine. I'm okay with keeping them out in the open right now, because I need to move them up. They need to be advancing. Uh, it's your turn, so it's going to be wasted. Um, do I keep someone in the back to look around a bit more? There is still a scavenge available. <sighs> okay, jump down. No scavenge here. Jump down. I think it's okay if we keep him scavenging. Because that will at least get our objective done. So we're if Objectives someone Objectives updated. Hopefully it doesn't die, but if someone does, at least it's for good. Alright, you can in case anyone comes up here on you. Oof, right, so the bullet hits him. For a little bit. Oof, he gets a hit. It's another hit on Ragnar. Ragnar might die here if there's more guys that pop out. And he's parrying. This is bad, this is bad. Okay. Enemy turn. There's one coming up here. He's just on ambush, okay. And there's another one. We don't know where these two are. It looks like they're not close enough to get into the fight just yet. And then there's this one. Again, we don't know where it is, so that's a good sign. A new risky. round has started. Right, Avila, we gotta get you into the fight, bro. Alright, run back up at him. I, he shouldn't have a counterattack ready, so hopefully I can finish him off. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, you got one more attack, right? You should have one more. Fit, come on, gotta hit him. Gotta get him. Oh! Alright, 
he, his parry failed too. He's down. That's good. That's good. Okay, what can I do with you? Let's move you up. We'll loot him. Um, I can't take much. We have to start trading stuff, and I don't want to do that. Can these stack? No, that's silly. Uh, I imagine a fragment is more than a shard, or maybe not. No, probably not. Doesn't really explain which one's worth more. Maybe they're worth the same, I don't know. Okay, he has useful stuff, but I can't move it right now. Okay. Alright, what's with these warps? These warps are bad news. Okay, his health is really low, so let's, um... I guess we'll use perception anyway, just in case we see something, I guess. Maybe we can see their enemies, I don't know. <clears throat> Ragnaros got to get inside. Um, I guess we dodge. We should try to get these guys to fight it out in this house here. Ragnar! No, Ragnar! Oh, man. Objectives updated. No, Ragnar might die here. Avalo might even die if we're not careful. Oh, these guys are OP. <laughs> I guess they're not. I guess I was being too too silly with it to assume that they wouldn't travel as a pack. Alright. The thing is, this guy over here, he's in ambush. So I can't go in this way. What if I charge someone who's on ambush? Well, at this rate, I don't know if we have a... Actually, I think I've got a better idea. Let's go to range weapon. And this is the only guy we can hit, but it's something. So let's throw that. It's some damage. So we can't get up into him. Um, I think we'll dodge because he's gonna run after us to shore. Alright, you still you did scavenge it. Alright, you need to get in the fight, that's what I'm sure. There's no one that can't be in the fight. They're way too they're way too strong for that, so let's run you up. Um and you'll be able to get into it in the next turn. So you're on ambush. There's a wordstone in the lane right there. Alright, anyway. You, you can definitely get in the fight here. So. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I wish there was a way to jump up there because then I could join them immediately in the fight. But there isn't. I put them in the worst possible spot for this, too. Oh, man. Okay. 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 Let's go ahead and run out for this. I could put a ranged weapon on you. But I'm gonna. Yeah, here's the ammo. Ah, oh, damn. Bad. Bad, bad. Alright, and you're engaged now, too. Well. Alright, back on. Hopefully, you two can easily pick this guy off. Delay. No, and you turn on. Oh, there's a. Oh, man. And he's stunned, too. That's not good. He's dodging. Bad. He's moving the rest of his men in position. They're getting closer and closer as time moves on. I gotta make a good play here, or else I'm gonna lose everyone. A new round this is has started. Really dangerous. Okay, this guy. How much health does he have? He has full health. I've just gotta get my guys out of here. Avila, you've got to run. Uh, why can't you disengage? Why can't you disengage? That's weird. He should be able to disengage, right? He has the points for it. Maybe because he's little health, I don't know. You just wail on him then. Maybe. Best case scenario is that he's able to stun him. He, he doesn't even get a second hit off. Oh, crap. Best case scenario would be that he stuns him, but that's, that didn't happen. So, this is gonna hurt. He missed, but he's gonna have another, he's another attack ready. Oh, man, and then there goes Avalo. Objectives updated. Your warband morale is critically low. Hey, he's got a guy over there. My guy ambushes him, that's good. <clears throat> Route test failed. Failed? Oh no, does that mean my morale? Ah, oh, man. Oh man. Oh, did anyone even survive or did they both die? Oh boy. Continue. It'll probably tell me here who, if, if, it, if any of them survived. Fool me, Warband! Listen, learn from Filch. Filch always win beat foe things. 
Filch always find fetch much, much worse soon. Warband, listen to Filch, or soon murder lord make all dead die. Oh, man. <clears throat> all right. Fortunate return. Even through the horrors of Mordheim, this warrior has managed to return safely and without losing additional equipment during the journey. Having a fallen out of action, consequently left behind during the route. This warrior eventually returns to Mordheim, however, some equipment may have been left behind. Skull Fracture. A mental condition of skull when it's left the warrior stupid, sometimes forgetting what it must do. If not engaged in melee, the warrior must pass intelligence test or do nothing for the turn. Great. <clears throat> he did earn some experience. Alright, so both of them survived. Oh man, lucky me. And he somehow made a full recovery. That's lucky for me. <clears throat> and then this one, he got 2 XP. And then this one we've gotten... Light. He actually got a light wound, interesting. Because he, you know, he wasn't put out of action, but he did take some damage. Warrior suffers from a flesh wound that takes a little time to recuperate from. And then, same thing. Alright, well, <clears throat> everyone did survive. And we got some XP out of it, but that was bad. You must pay the upkeep costs of warriors while treatment costs. Warriors will refuse to join missions till they are paid. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. We'll pay them now, I think. Everyone's so pricey. Alright, let's pay the treatment for everyone, most importantly. It is gold coins, that's what the currency is. So I was right, I'll call it gold. We need to pay the upkeep now. Upkeep of two is owed to the leave for seven parties, yeah. Okay. So this will cost us a bit to go through and do every warrior's upkeep. We can do that. <coughs> ah, boy. Whew. Alright, well, everyone did survive, and that's an important step, but man, this could have went better for sure. Alright, well, <laughs> that is the sad ending, I think, of the first episode. We've been horribly defeated, and now we know that this game is no joke, and we cannot let our guys on the road, because if they are, they will just lose. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, at any rate, <clears throat> that was it. I'll see you guys in the next episode.